narco dollars narco dollars what is that narco dollars whose picture is that and dara and dara twenty dollars and dara who's and dara who's the other guy noriega noriega's on the five dollar bill who's this person who's this person greenspan oh my god is on the hundred dollar bill greenspan federal researcher for a number of years that totally screwed over every american citizen for decades to come greenspan oh my gotta read this gotta read this holy commodities narco dollars narco dollars we got greenspan let's check this out card number 30 card number 30 silent partners ex-democratic senator william proxmire who chaired 1980 chaired 1980 hearings on money laundering found that many banks are addicted to drug money just as millions of Americans are addicted to drugs. Collusion between drug traffickers and their silent partners, the bankers, is natural. Traffickers need banks to deposit cash, transfer funds, and reinvest profits. Banks need cash to maintain legal reserves for outstanding loans. At $150, at $150 billion a year, Drugs are the third largest industry in the U.S. after food and electronics, and all the prof profits go untaxed. The Bank Secrecy Act of 1970 requires all banks to identify the depositor and the source of cash deposits over $10,000, but many banks ignore the law or file reports too late for the government to take action. This is true not just of small Latin-owned banks in Florida, but of major banks as well. In 1985, the Bank of Boston was fined a paltry $500,000 for failing to report 1,163 illegal transactions worth $1.2 billion, and Crocker Bank was fined $1.5 million for failing to report two transfers of hot money from hong kong worth 3.343 billion dollars others find include others find include bank of america and chase manhattan mobsters chase manhattan mobsters can also bypass the law by making multiple deposits each too small to alert federal authorities local federal reserve branches show billions of dollars on in unaccounted for surpluses every year panama is the largest laundry laundry for cocaine profits president guillermo and endara and vice president billy ford are part own owners of of banks that have watched washed millions for colombian drug lords other Others Panamanians with cocaine ties include the ministers of treasury and labor, the Supreme Court Chief Justice, the Attorney General, and the ambassador to Washington. And the ambassador to Washington. It's uh it's interesting. They didn't get into Greenspan here. Okay. This guy right here, Greenspan. There's a reason his face would be on a hundred dollar bill while Noriega's would be on a five dollar bill. Okay. Greenspan is the architect of much of the misery that has befallen the middle class in the United States. Okay. With his monetary policy and his double speak and his irrational exuberance, and the way they manipulated the economy and crashed industries. 
I remember this came out in 1991.